Until out of the blue, I got a call from a friend running refugee camps in the Philippines. Something he said gave me a new angle on the same story. Suddenly, I felt as if Jack's ghost was tapping me on the shoulder. I closed up my pad in the village and took the first flight out to Manila. Sir, may I help you? Well, I uh, certainly hope so. My name is, uh, is Chris Hilton. I'm a writer by profession. And that's the name of a man I'm looking for. I was told I could find him in this camp. Maybe you could tell me where he is. No, not here. He moved in the province. If this man was an eyewitness to something that happened in the early 70s, he must have been only a boy at the time. What can he tell me about a story that, according to Jack, involved a ranger unit, a bunch of American POWs, and a German freelance photographer? Do you mind if I tape our conversation? No, not at all. There's something I'll never be able to understand. How a man can keep all his memories in such a small box.